What's going wrong with my Pixel 3? We'll answer Ben's question next on Ask the Tech Guy. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Welcome to Ask the Tech Guy. One question, one answer. This one from Ben uh, each week. This is from Ben. Uh, I'm a big fan. Here's my question. I converted to a Nexus 6 from iPhone years ago after listening to you talk about the vanilla Android life. And I have been buying every subsequent Nexus and now Pixel models since then. I've become a big fan of Android. But my current Pixel 3 XL is driving me crazy. I listen to podcasts on Pocket Cast, but the app crashes or closes constantly as I'm using other apps. I've Googled around for a solution or for others experiencing this, but I haven't found much. Do you have the same complaint? Am I doing something wrong? No, Ben, you're not. Uh, Google's doing something wrong. This has been a problem since the Pixel 3 XL or 3 came out. Not been fixed as far as I know in the 3A. And it is Google's aggressive memory management. They do, in fact often, while you're listening to it, close apps in the background. This is a problem on all mobile devices. It's not new to the Google Pixel 3. It is annoying. You may remember for a long time, Apple didn't allow background apps at all. The only apps that could run in the background on iPhones were Apple's own apps. They slowly expanded that because, of course, if you're listening to podcasts or you're listening to music, you, you, you want to do other things on your phone. You want to have that run in the background. So Apple has allowed certain apps like Spotify to run in the background. Google theoretically does the same thing. But yeah, when the Pixel 3 came out, for some reason Google had, maybe there wasn't enough RAM in it, I don't know, had really stepped up the aggressiveness of the code that closed background apps. They put out patch after patch since the 3 was released. Um, I think the 4 does not have that problem. You should probably check reviews, though, before you run out and buy it. Uh, this is a problem with all uh, Android and iPhone devices because battery is such a scarce resource. They don't want apps running in the background, bringing down the battery. If your email app, for instance, is always running, it's always using battery, checking email every few minutes, you're not going to get very good battery life. One of the ways both Google and Apple are able to extend the battery life of their you know, frankly, very small battery devices is by being very aggressive and, and saying no to background apps. I think it's just something we're going to have to live with. However, you're absolutely right. You should be able to designate some apps uh, for keeping open. And what I would suggest is that you go into the app settings for Pocket Casts uh, or any app. Uh, I use audiobooks, uh, so I do this with my audiobook apps your Spotify or your other music app, Google Play Music, go into the settings. And when, in fact, I'll show you uh, where it is. I don't have a Pixel 3 with me, but I can show you on my Samsung phone. It's pretty much the same on all Android devices. Or at least it may not be a perfect fix, but it'll certainly help. And, and I found that I have to do this, frequently have to do this every time there's an update to the device, is to go into the app settings for uh, your device and go into specific apps. You said Pocket Cast, so let me let me go into Pocket Cast here. Go into the specific app that you would like to do better, to run longer in the background. Here's Pocket Casts. And you can look at battery. And there's a little switch. Now, this is Samsung, and it looks slightly different depending on which device you have. Everybody in the Android universe has their own settings. But on the Samsung device, and it's very similar on the Pixel 3 XL, there's a switch that says allow background activity. I think this is actually a very good way of handling it. Uh, it they're essentially giving you the option to choose which apps can run in the background. Most apps, this should be turned off on. You don't want apps running in the background. They're going to use up battery. But if there's an app like Pocket Casts or a music app that you want to keep running in the background, make sure that that's switched on. And I found that I have to check that frequently. Every time I get a new update, there's the, uh, op, uh, there's the possibility that that's been turned back on. So Google says we fixed the problem in the Pixel 3 with aggressive memory management. 
I don't think they've completely fixed it. Uh, maybe it's a little bit better, but but f don't don't forget they're not only managing memory; they're most importantly managing battery. And you can't go into this setting in any app and say, eh, "Let this one run in the background." It's going to give you a hit on your battery life, but it's definitely going to make a difference in your ability to listen to your favorite music in the background or podcasts like this one. I hope you do subscribe to Ask the Tech Guy and Pocket Casts or Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts. Easy enough to do. That way you'll get every episode the minute it's available. If you have a question for me, just email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv. We can't answer every question we'll get, but if you ask me a good one that everybody's interested in, I'll, I'll try to get it answered on a future show. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you next time on Ask the Tech Guy. Ask the Tech Guy brought to you by LastPass. Just remember your master password, and LastPass will remember the rest. New features in the LastPass business lineup. I really like in these. LastPass Enterprise includes single sign-on technology, and they come initially out of the box with 1,200 pre-integrated apps. There's also LastPass MF which goes beyond standard two-factor authentication using biometrics and factors like geolocation. When you combine the two, you've got LastPass identity. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.